Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Finish Off FTL. For those of you who don't know what's going on here, we did the live stream on October 20th, raised a bunch of money for charity, it was awesome, you should have been there. Um, and what happened is we got a pretty good game going on normal in the Osprey, often referred to as the Dickmobile, so I thought I'd finish that off because I wanted to do that to finish the uh, live stream, but uh, I kind of got sick from um, an energy drink which basically contained poison, uh, but I feel a lot better now, although I'm still low on sleep, so I'm kind of hoping that sort of captures the old intoxicated sounding haze of a 24-hour gaming marathon. This is where we left off. We're in Sector 6, getting kind of near the end, and we've got a pretty good ship going for us for normal difficulty. Can power some good stuff. Had some thoughts on what I should upgrade next on the ship, but we'll give it an in-depth look here. Wouldn't hurt to upgrade... Well, honestly, you could justify just about anything. The artillery beam would probably be the best, because the thing I'm lacking is... For the, for the end encounter, because we got to start, start thinking in those terms, is I could use a little bit more finishing power. Uh, the artillery beam can provide that, but uh, I would need a cloaking device or something to help me withstand uh, a conflict with the enemy flagship until that point. So I'll wait and see on the money situation right now. <laughs> Tourist trap Zoltan Monastery, hey? Oh, those crazy guys. Those crazy energy people. I don't have time for this. Actually, I often do that. I wonder what would happen if I did submit to profiling. Alright. Utter villainy under no circumstance. Oh my goodness. Oh man. This is not looking good. Well, I probably should have just fought them anyway. And they've got a glaive beam. I still think they might have a hard time getting through my shields. Alright, now the Rockman and the Crystal crew member who we picked up in a failed attempt to recruit the Crystal dude, they'll be able to hang in there for a little while. Alright. Okay, this is alright. I'm okay with how that fight is going. Next priority is we just gotta get through their super shield, because I'm gonna want... Alright. You guys to the med bay, because we're gonna be using a boarding tactic against them. Space board them. And I don't know what the artillery beam is gonna do. Although we probably won't have to rely on it too extensively. There we go. Oh, it did damage their shield system. Okay, we can do something meaningful here. Their O2 system's offline. I'm gonna teleport into their weapons room in the hopes that they confront me. In the meantime, I'm going to get one more volley. Yeah, there we go. Looks like they aren't willing to come after me instead of repair their uh, anything. So what we'll do is we'll just beat them up because they're also softened from the experience. Zoltan just aren't that tough. And we're up 51 scrap and no damage. Well, if anybody ever tries to profile you, I guess the moral of the story is just attack them. We 
Remember that next time you're at an airport. All right, and Magne the Great. All right, we're good. I guess that's a pretty obvious choice. Long range FTL. Interesting. I will attack the slaver scum. Because why would you pay for a slave when you can get one for free? They are armed to the tooth, though. All right. Gonna power down the artillery beam. Deploy a defense drone. They're also pretty tough, so we're gonna have to go after them. Okay. We're going to have to go after them in two phases. One hitting the weapon, that's just to buy me a little bit of time. Okay. The real target's the med bay, and always was. Alright. Beam over, boys. This first fight's going to be the toughest one. I'm a little concerned that the crystal is going to get his butt kicked by this mantis. He probably will. Let's get them out of there. That was just to stall long enough to beam them back. And get back to the med bay. Now they'll die for real. I feel pretty good about what transpired there. Gonna save. Oh. I don't want to do too much more damage to their uh, ship, but on the other hand. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't want them to be able to get healed. I could have been executed a bit better. Alright. Hopefully we can get there before they repair the med bay again. Hurry! I destroy you, they'll all die anyway. Actually, I have an idea that I'll be able to get some scrap, stop the slavers, and get a crew member. There will be no surrender. No, you will engage us. We'll get them out. Let shields regenerate one tick. Alright. Uh oh. I may have made a small mistake here because I don't think. Alright. Put all my eggs in one basket when it comes to taking them out. We'll have to rely on the bio beam. We can weather the storm from them all day long, so I'm not too worried about that. Unless they fire their weapons in a very particular sequence. I really want to get as much as I possibly can out of this encounter though. Alright. Fire the burst laser. Hopefully we go 3 for 3 on hits. Alright, bio beamed him. And now maybe we can take this offline? Nope.
Getting into an interesting situation trying to beat down a regenerating guy without a Mantis crew member. Yeah, we can't. But we do have the Bio Beam. Alright, finish him, boys. If you can. I wish I could give you more specific orders. This is very frustrating. Welcome to a terrible finish to an epic run. Alright. Our other option is we can beam over more people, which I am seriously considering. Here's what we're gonna do. Gonna beam over to the shield room. No, oxygen. Bio his comrade to keep him trapped there. This should hopefully force their hand. All right. I'm thinking this will work out for us now, because sooner or later they're going to have to worry about oxygen. You just can't ignore it forever, no matter how low your health is. And while we're at it, why don't you guys, we'll get a, a backup pilot going there and we'll beam some more people. No, wait, that's a bad idea. The O2's offline. I caught it, everybody. I caught the mistake. Buddy pinned while we beat him up. And this is where the high risk comes in. So Bjorn here breathes at a slower rate than the others do. I think he's about to get his butt kicked, but. Alright. Run, Bjorn! Interrupt his repairs! Run! This is definitely the long way to take out a ship with boarding. Close enough. To the med bay, you've done your job admirably, Bjorn, and. Alright, time to finish off us some slavers. Now you can get, even though we took out all the air on the ship and took 16 years doing it, uh, you can still get a slave this way, even though we did the asphyxiation. So, who do we get? Oh, 
Another human. Okay. Well, we've got another human. I was kind of hoping for a mantis to help out on the offensive stuff, because that really would have sped up that fight, but whatever. I am gonna, if this were anything else, I would just jump to the next sector, but we've got 208 scrap and I'm hoping to get one more big gun. Like a heavy ion. That's exactly what I had in mind. The bio beam in the final encounter has some use, but I'm not totally committed to having a defense drone one, so we could sell that for money if we need it. The bio beam I still could probably sell. Pegasus missile launcher. The the real problem is that missiles aren't that useful in that final fight. Breaches and does more damage to system. Breach chance high. Personnel damage 3, system damage 3. I'll take it. I will take it. It gives us options. So we could beam one of those. It also has a slow charge, which is a little annoying, but... Now the question is whether or not we invest in a hull repair drone. I'm gonna say yes. Yep, I'm gonna say yes. And I'm even gonna hold on to the defense drone for now. Maybe we can sell it later. Uh, and the rationale for that is maybe we can uh, go with a two defense drone setup. I'm not sure if that's likely, but... And now we can repair our own ship so we don't need to depend on uh, visiting thing, uh, stores for that. Alright, and let's see how we hold up in a legitimate contest. Ah, trying to take my artillery beam offline. Be my guest. Um, they have pretty good firepower, but I'm gonna see if I can get by without using a defense drone. Uh, and we'll go all firepower on their shields. FTL is almost charged. Tempting to go after them, but the reward is only one fuel, and at this point I'm just gonna ditch. Options, rebel-controlled sector or pirate-controlled sector? Uh, we faced off with the rebels last time, so we'll go for the pirates. Sounds like I might be able to get some crewmen or something. Also, I enjoy the music. Let's take a look at the jump map. You should always do that before upgrading your ship just to see if there's a store, because that if there's a store adjacent, you can just jump there. And you know what? That one fight took a billion years, so I'm going to end the video here. Next time we'll explore Sector 7, and then The Last Stand. I'll see you there, everybody.